hi guys welcome to today's video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a really interesting tool called dora um, dora allows you to create interactive and engaging websites without having to write a single line of code without having to learn html css or even javascript um, you get to easily create cool effects transitions and 3d animations which is really cool the dora software just don't let you create these designs it also gives you the ability to publish your website directly to a live server with the click of a button the dora software has a user-friendly design environment and if you've ever designed with any design tool such as adobe xd or figma or any of your favorite design tool you're going to find it really easy to design with dora the dora software also adopts familiar concepts such as components and constraints and it also uses keyframes to create animations on your website if you've ever used any animation software such as adobe after effects um, you might understand what keyframes are and if you don't you have nothing to worry about as i am going to be creating tutorial videos on how to create interactive websites with dora so as you must have guessed personally um i have fallen in love with dora already because of how easy it makes you create animations on your website and you guys know i am big on animations any software that lets me do this easily um is definitely going to have my attention so without further ado let's take a look at some websites that have been created with the dora software so that we can have an idea on what to achieve when designing with dora so the very first website we are going to be looking at is the official dora website at this point you can join a waitlist or you can sign in if you're already invited to the software this landing page was created with the dora software itself and as i scroll you can see this hero image at the bottom here as i scroll you can see a smooth transition um on the image which is a typical example of what you could do with the Dora software. And as you can see from this image here, you can see that there is a little animation going on like this 3D animation here with this um, Dora 3D stuff. So this is what you can do. You can work with keyframes, um, which is what allows you create these animations. Um, there's also constraint layouts. Um, and don't worry, we are going to be going through all of these concepts I'm using the Dora software because I'm going to be creating a tutorial or a course on how to build amazing stuff with the Dora software. So if we just scroll to the bottom, you will see it's built for any screen. Um, if you scroll, you can have the iPad, the mobile breakpoints and the web um, view. So you have nothing to worry about when it comes to responsiveness. So as you scroll down, you can also see the transition on this 10x um, text here which is super cool and that's about it for the dora software so let's take a look at other websites that have been created with the dora um, software itself so i'm going to go to the next one which is um, this digi mini pro um, it's a product landing page um, for this particular digi mini 3 pro product here so as you scroll on this particular website you will notice um, the smooth transition on the text um from one text to another and you can notice a little transition on the image here which is super cool as you keep scrolling you can see how the image spread out you can achieve this um with either 3d or image sequences um, i'm going to show you guys how to achieve stuff like this and as you zoom in you're going to see some more cool um transitions and animations all this can be achieved with the dora software and for this section here, you will notice that this is a video, which means the Dora software lets us directly embed videos in our designs and play them in our prototype, which is a super cool feature. So I think that's um, almost about it for this particular product page. Let's take a look at another software created with Dora. Um, this is the iPad Air Go. Um, this is also a cool product landing page packed with transition and um and effect so as you can see how this um ipad pro is transitioning from right to left and once you keep scrolling you see some um a lot more cool transitions um once you keep scrolling you can see stuff like this this is super super cool you can create all of this with dora 
and i just hope you stick around we are going to go through how to create cool stuff like this in no time so you can see this ipad product you can see how it transitions how it flips which is super cool um and that's about it for the ipad air um, product landing page you can also see the transition in the background image from dark theme to light theme um, which is so cool and smooth so um the next page we are going to be checking out is this house of gucci house of gucci is another demo website created with the dora um, software so as you scroll you can see this 3d key here um transitions to show the entire part of the key as it's scrolling which is cool which lets you know that you can work with 3d animations this is just a very mini sample there has, there's going to be some more cool stuff i'm going to be showing you guys later in the future about how to use 3d animations with dora um, which is one of my favorite features with dora how you can easily work with 3d assets um so as you scroll the key just spins and that's almost about it for the house of gucci landing page created with dora all right let's also look at um what it feels like while creating the house of gucci's website um this is what it looks like in the editor right you can see some of its components for the home page and and as you can see on the left hand side here we have um the mobile breakpoint if i click on this in the pages you're going to see the mobile screen for this house of gucci and what you're seeing down here is what we call the panel for the keyframes, right? So this is the option for the keyframe. Once you click on it, um, it goes and um, you can click on it to enable it, right? You can also have the option to have components. Or you can see there's a number of components for this particular web. And um, on the pages tab is where you get um, the main pages, which is um, a lot similar like every other design tool. As you can see, it's really easy to use. I'm just going to click on this keyframe here so that I can see the keyframes used here. I'm going to enlarge this a little bit and um, I'm going to um, zoom out. So um, for this, I want, you guys, I want to show you guys um, how the animation works for the Dora software. So here you can see it's at the starting point of the keyframe where you have um, this viewport here. And once I scroll to like the end, you can see that the viewport changes and there's some kind of animation on um, the website itself, which is typically what happens when you use viewport. So as I scroll, you can see that um, the, the animation continues um, to scroll as the viewport of the page keeps going down, which is typically your scroll um animation when you're scrolling down the website so that's basically what happens um the viewports once you're scrolling changes and um characters or elements um changes alongside the viewport so that's basically how it works and um not just the house of gucci we also have this um the behind the scene of this dg mini 3 pro here um in our upcoming tutorials we are going to look at this more um, in depth so that we can have a good idea on how to build us but for the meantime um, i'm going to be having a link to the sign up page to the dora software if it's something you want to try out i'm going to be having a link down in the comment section so that you can use that to sign up because um at this very point in time you can't sign up you can only join the waiting list but you can sign up using the link in the description and make sure you do that if you're interested so for this Digimini Pro is still the same thing. It's going to be a long page with um, that indicates different viewpoints. So as you can see this, as I scroll um, on these keyframes, you can see that the viewpoint of the website changes um, depending on what parts of this page we are viewing. I just hope you guys can see this. Um, if you can't, I'm going to take it back to the beginning and I'm going to zoom, zoom in a little bit more so that I can see more of this. I'm also going to reduce this. So you can see a little bit more. So as I scroll, you can see the keyframes um, changing direction based on changing um, elements positions based on where you are 
in the viewport so this is typically how the dora software works and this is how um, you can apply it to any of your website's animation um so this is basically it um my next video is going to be a tutorial please don't forget to look out for that and also the same thing with 3d animations 3d animations works typically the same way as you can see this 3d dock here um it's it's a 3d animation you can see the whole environment we are also going to be looking at how to work with that so you have nothing to worry about you've seen what can be achieved with the dora software if it's something you're interested in and you can't really wait to get started with it please let me know down in the comment section as i'm going to be posting more interesting videos about this later in the future also make sure to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell um, so that you get notified whenever i post a new video thanks for watching and i'm going to see you in my next video